onions. Vegan. Pour a little bit of this. Oh, that was a lot. Well, I'm glad you like my cooking then. I would never even know it's vegan. 10 out of 10. Easy. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, there's a smudge on my lens. When is there not a smudge on my lens? Let's be real. I have done quite a few like vlog camera based videos in the past, but I haven't done one in a while. Um, but I really, really wanted to do this video where I do 24 hours vegan. When I did my video where I swapped diets with Emma, um, if you guys don't follow her, Emma's Rectangle, we did a video where we swapped our diets because she was really healthy and I'm really fussy. On that video, there was quite a lot of comments saying, I'd love to see you try being vegan for 24 hours because I am a very fussy eater. Well, I wouldn't say I'm very, okay, I'm quite fussy. I'm pretty damn fussy. I just know what I like, I like what I like. I eat quite a lot of like sugar, junk food. I'm not your typical candidate for like going vegan. I know veganism can be very controversial, but I literally just wanted to see how many different vegan foods I could try within 24 hours, get my reactions to them on camera. Um, it might help some of you guys if you are also fussy and you are wanting to incorporate more like vegan things into your diet. I'm about to head to Asda and potentially a few other supermarkets if I can't find what I'm looking for so that I can get some food in preparation for tomorrow because that's when I'm gonna be doing obviously like breakfast, lunch, dinner. I was gonna do dinner tonight, but then my dad was like, no one eats two dinners in the space of 24 hours and I'm like well I guess it depends when your 24 hours starts I'm gonna get some vegan dessert for this evening because I really want to try like a few desserts in this video because desserts are kind of like my favorite thing and I wanted to do tomorrow's dinner because I'm actually seeing James tomorrow and I kind of wanted to get his reaction to the vegan food as well because I don't know you guys seem to really love seeing James in videos I like having James in videos so I'm gonna do that but I'm about to head to Asda let's go luckily my camera is pretty good in dark lighting because it is getting darker and darker it's half full and it's nearly dark let's go we have secured the goods don't judge my cocoa pot buying um i'm a ride or die cocoa pot fan i'm obviously not going to be eating these when i'm vegan but we needed some more um but i've got a lot of great stuff in here so i'll show you when i get home right so i'm home oh this feels really zoomed in that's a bit better actually wait let me just let me take my coat off i got my stuff it was an interesting trip to asda there is actually a lot more stuff that is vegan that you wouldn't think is vegan but i do just want to say okay yes i know i've got to say things back but i did go to asda i didn't end up going to waitress because i didn't need to because asda pretty much had everything i need um and the asda near me isn't the biggest of asda but they've massively expanded their like vegan stuff they're free from section but i do know that sainsbury's and tesco when i've been to them they've definitely got like more options so i'm gonna go to tesco tomorrow and get some more stuff oh yeah the reason it was a weird trip to asda is i was down one of the aisles looking at the free from stuff and one of the asda employees walked past and wolf whistled at me and then i get to um the desk to pay for my stuff and the guy working at the till was just like being really friendly and he was asking me like how my day was I was like yeah it's good thanks how are you I normally go to the self scanning thing so I don't have to talk to people so he was just asking me all these questions and chatting away and then he was like so did you have school today and I was like uh no I was just um at home if you're new to my channel I'm 22 nearly 23 and he asked if I had school today <laughs> so for breakfast I had to change my plan slightly I was gonna get the chocolate soya milk from Alpro but they'd run out of stock but that is like my favorite chocolate milk I was gonna have that with Weetabix but they didn't have that so I ended up having to get regular soy milk and then I got some cocoa shreddies which are in fact vegan so I'm gonna have those in the morning with some Alpro soya milk what I got for my lunch normally for lunch I will have like cooked vegetables vegetables um which are obviously vegan anyway i'll then sometimes have like some halloumi or some cheese with it but obviously i didn't get cheese but one of my favorite things is actually hoisin duck um wraps this is a linda mccartney's deliciously easy vegetarian hoisin duck meal kit but i did check the back of this and it doesn't have any milk or eggs in it and it says on the front suitable for vegans so i'm gonna give this a try by the way if i get any of this wrong like, i'm really sorry i tried my absolute best to make sure that everything i got is vegan but if i did make any mistakes i'm very very sorry i got some onions because we were out of onions onions vegan by the way this came to like 32 pounds which is quite a lot for a shop that's only for a couple of days i got some king's meal whole tasty wholemeal bread i love this bread anyway and i believe it is vegan i got some vegan corn crunchy nuggets which were from the frozen section another thing that i kind of want to try with my lunch is the vegan cauldron organic marinated tofu i'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow so i got some snack bars i got some of the naked bars i actually really like these anyway i'm very very scared of this i got some applewood vegan cheese and this says smooth and creamy smoky 
turkey cheese alternative melts beautifully. Um, I've had a vegan cheese before and I'm not gonna lie, it was the worst thing I've ever tasted. But again, that was quite a few years ago and I haven't had this one before. So I'm hoping I can maybe make like a cheese toasty with it. I got a red pepper just cause I needed a red pepper. I got two packs of the free from dairy, milk, wheat, gluten, chocolate buttons. I got the white chocolate buns and I got the brown chocolate buns, the milk chocolate buttons, I guess, but they are not milk. I never said this was gonna be a healthy vegan video. I got these, which are some Asda vegan cupcakes. And then the last thing that I got, which I'm so, 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 Ew, it's covered in ice. So I'm excited for is the Ben & Jerry's Chocolate Fudge Brownie Vegan Non-Dairy Ice Cream. This was $5.99, which is expensive for an ice cream, but it's really delicious. I have actually had this before in the past. Can't remember, like I remember that I liked it, but I can't remember what it was like compared to the original. And that is everything I got. So I guess I will see you guys later for dessert and then I'll see you in the morning um, to start my vegan day. So I have changed now. I put on um, this jumper and I curled my hair because I was just doing some filming. Um, but I forgot to mention in the previous clip that I am gonna be going to Tesco tomorrow to buy some dinner because I didn't get dinner food out of everything that I got in Asda. Also just a warning, like if you get offended by people that are fussy eaters, maybe don't watch this video because I imagine I'm not gonna like everything. Sorry. So I'm just giving my Ben and Jerry's vegan fudge brownie ice cream a try. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks very chocolatey. Moment of truth. Mmm. It's really nice. It doesn't taste as sweet as the original, but it's really good. I like it. I would definitely eat that. If you gave that to me every day for dessert, I would be happy and I wouldn't have any complaints. So as you can see, I've now taken my makeup off, ready for bed. I'm just gonna put on one of my lights, one second. That's better. So just before I go to bed, I just wanted to mention something that I listen to on the regular to help me get to sleep because I'm the type of person that a lot of the time I have to be listening to something in order to sleep. This part of the video is actually sponsored by Audible, which is amazing. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. If you haven't, they have a huge range of audiobooks, news shows, comedy shows. They have original audio shows on there as well. So if you're somebody like me that maybe likes listening to something before bed to kind of unwind without having to look at your screen, then it's a great way to do that. Um, you can listen to it on your commute to work if you're driving or if you're getting the train. I know for me like when I'm on the train I like to listen to something to kind of distract myself and calm my nerves because I get quite anxious traveling or if you're in the gym if you're cooking you can pretty much listen to this wherever you are because you can listen to it on your phone on Alexa via Bluetooth oh my Alexa's gonna wake up and I'm not gonna lie I don't really read like physical books. I much prefer to be listening to an audiobook because that way you can do other things while you're listening to it. So if you guys would like to give it a go, you can get a free audiobook and a 30 day free trial and two Audible originals using my link, which is www.audible.com slash nails, or you can text nails to 500 500. I will leave a link down below, but if you guys would like a personal recommendation, something that really gets me off to sleep. Me and James love listening to a bit of David Attenborough before we sleep, um, just cause I find his voice so relaxing. I I've been listening to Life on Earth, which is one of his audiobooks on here. It's read by him and it is just so relaxing. But if that's not your cup of tea, there's obviously tons of different options. I will leave a link down below. Right, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna be listening to it with David Attenborough. I'm gonna wake up in the morning and then we're gonna start this vegan day. Good night. Good morning, guys. So I've just woke up. It's the next day where I haven't spoken today ultra croaky voice. So I'm gonna go have my breakfast, but I'm excited for dinner as well because I realized that a lot of the stuff that I cook anyway, like I make quite a lot of curries and a lot of the time the curries just have coconut milk in them. They don't have any other kind of like dairy or meat products. And the only thing in the curries that I will have that isn't vegan is obviously like chicken, but you can get corn chicken pieces. They do some vegetarian ones and they do some vegan ones. So I feel like a vegan curry would be very easy to make. So today's breakfast consists of cocoa shreddies and Alpro soya milk. I like a lot of milk, okay? Not bad. This cereal paired with this milk is actually really good. The milk itself tastes a little bit more nutty. I know that soy milk doesn't come from nuts, it comes from soya beans. It has like a slightly more nutty taste and it's a bit more of a like thin, watery consistency, but with the cocoa shreddies, like the milk has gone nice and chocolatey. <laughs>
So I've just come upstairs to edit. I've actually just gone and tinted my eyebrows. While I'm editing, okay, this is not a healthy snack. I have got my little bags of chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons are not the only vegan snack that is available, but I'm sure you knew that already. So I'm going to edit for a bit. It's half 11, and then when I am um, starting to feel a little bit peckish, I'm going to give them a try. So it's actually only been about an hour, but I'm already wanting to try my buttons. We've got the chocolate buns and we got the white chocolate buns. I think I'm going to go for the original chocolate ones first. I mean, it looks like a chocolate button. Very nice. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best chocolate I've ever had, but it does the job. It tastes completely normal. If you gave this to me, I would just think it was like a cheap unbranded chocolate. I wouldn't say it was necessarily vegan. Then we have the white chocolate buttons. These taste a little bit more different. They've got a slightly more grainy texture when you actually like eat them. I think I prefer these ones over the white chocolate ones. Um, I mean, they do the job. I just don't eat them. See you at lunch. So it's actually now half one. I haven't actually moved from this chair. It is 1.24 and I'm about to go downstairs and make my lunch. I'm gonna cook some of the nuggets. I wouldn't normally have nuggets with my lunch, but I really wanna try them. And also I'm gonna do the duck um, pancake set, which I'm really excited for because that's actually one of my favorite foods. So I'm very interested to see the vegan version. Why is my face so red? I am really hungry, so I really hope I like this. And if I don't like this, I'm sorry if I offend anyone. Before I do my actual lunch, um, I'm gonna have a little snack just cause I've gotta like wait for everything to cook. Um, I actually, was in Asda yesterday I was gonna get some kind of like crisps or tortilla chips or something and then I read the information on the back of these which I already had in the cupboard these are the Asda nacho chips and these are literally just made of corn flour sunflower sunflower oil and salt that is it those are the only ingredients so these are definitely vegan unless corn flour is not vegan pretty sure it is oh no I've just ripped that so these are just the plain like salted corn flour chips and I actually really like them and obviously, if you don't just want to eat these plain, this is the mild salsa by Asda. I know that Doritos do a version as well. I think the lightly salted Doritos are also vegan. And these have just obviously got tomatoes, peppers, onions, salsa, and tortilla chips. Easy. I'm gonna go cook my lunch. So this is more than what I would normally have for lunch. Most of the time, like I said yesterday, I just have like grilled vegetables and then maybe some cheese. I do have some vegan cheese here. I've also got some of the King's Mill uh, tasty wholemeal bread, which I believe is vegan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is the uh, Cauldron Organic Marinated Tofu, which I think I'm gonna do a little bit of just to give it a try. This is gonna be my main lunch, which is the Linda McCartney's Vegetarian Hoisin Duck Meal Kit. This actually has to be done in a pan, and then I'm gonna put some of the corn on, uh, vegan crunchy nuggets in the oven just to give them a try so i've just opened up the tofu i'm gonna try a little bit because it does say it's actually ready to eat now and then i might cook a little bit of it as well oh it's very herby the texture is definitely more soft than meat i just don't really like the flavoring they've put on it it kind of is a bit almost like foamy i just really don't like whatever herbs that they've put on this i think it would be a lot nicer if you cooked it and mixed it with some other stuff like vegetables so i did just over half the pack and it actually smells really similar to when i usually get duck and it kind of looks like meat as well so i didn't actually quite realize how much duck there was there's 10 pancakes in here i did like just over half of it but it looks pretty good i wish you could see the food i also really wish i put makeup on today pour a little bit of this Oh, that was a lot on there. Then let's put a little bit of duck. Bit of spring onion. Wrap it up. That is really good. If you gave me that pancake in a restaurant and told me it was a duck pancake, I would believe you. And this is coming from somebody that's eaten meat their whole life. Okay, when you eat a little bit by itself, there's not that much flavour, but the texture is quite meaty. But with like the sauce, with the spring onions, with the pancake, it literally tastes like a normal duck pancake. I genuinely thought I was gonna be a lot more critical of this. Let me try another one before I judge too hard. It's not quite as flavoursome and it's got like a bit of a different aftertaste, but it actually is really nice. Highly recommend these. I'm now gonna try some of the vegan nuggets, which are by corn. This is what they look like on the inside. They do look quite meaty. The texture is just not as kind of resistant. It's quite squishy. Like it's almost like the texture of fish. It falls apart quite easy. I'm not the biggest fan of these. They have a bit of like a sour 
aftertaste which i'm not a massive fan of i have had the corn vegetarian nuggets and they are really nice these vegan ones are not as good i'm not gonna lie but i mean it still passes a nugget i'm just not really a big fan of the flavor so the last kind of lunch food that i've got to try is the vegan cheese this is the applewood vegan smooth and creamy smoky cheese alternative i'm really scared for this i don't like the smell of it i don't like the smell of it this is where people are gonna get annoyed Okay, you know what? This is not as bad as the previous vegan cheese that I've had. I think because this one's got a slight, like, smoked flavor to it. Kind of just tastes like that cheese, the fake cheese that you get on a burger. I would not choose to eat it though. So it's better than the vegan cheese that I've had in the past about three years ago. But would I choose to eat this? Mm -mm. Okay, right, I'm gonna go get ready for my day. I'm gonna finish editing my video, then I'm going over to James's. So that is where this vegan journey will continue. So I'm at James's now, we're about to go to the gym, but I'm gonna eat one of these naked bars before I go, because I'm actually getting quite peckish. It is 10 to five, and this is like my snack before dinner, I guess. These are the Coco Delight ones. What? Eat it. I'm not gonna lie, they don't look the most appealing. Um, oh, it's really shiny, but I have had these before, and they it's are like quite nice. that much. It kind of does. It doesn't taste that much. I think I prefer the chocolate orange ones. They are still good. They kind of just taste like dates with a bit of cocoa. It's really, really dark, but me and James have... Hey, that's better. Me and James have just been to the gym. Uh, he's driving, obviously. <laughs> um, we're just about to go to Tesco to get some vegan dinner. And hopefully it will be good. So we're just getting our ingredients for our curry. So far we've got potato, a pig, dog toy, um, pepper, onions, and then some soy sauce. We're just looking at the different spices. Do you mind? <laughs> Tesco have actually got a pretty good vegan selection of stuff, which looks really good actually. Oh, stop with that pig. He's not happy. He is not happy. He's in the wrong neighborhood. So we're leaving Tesco. They didn't have the corn vegan chicken style pieces, but Tesco have their own brand of vegan chicken style pieces, which I didn't even realize, but we got those instead. Um, and then we got like loads of ingredients to do a curry. So I'm actually pretty excited. So this is the curry so far. We've got vegetables, potatoes, some curry paste, some coconut milk, and is that it so far? Uh, gonna be adding some spinach. Oh yeah. Some vegan chicken pieces yeah. and peas. So this is the finished result. This is what the fake chicken looks like. If my camera would focus, that would be great. It actually looks kind of like chicken. <laughs> um, it smells pretty nice though, so I'm quite excited to try it, but I'm gonna get my first reaction on camera. Oh, weird. I mean, the sauce is nice. I'm sure it'll be nice with like extra vegetables and stuff. It's not bad. I'll still eat it. What is in the whole meal? I think you're gonna like it. It's actually not bad. Well, I'm glad you like my cooking then. I would eat this. I mean, I'm gonna eat this. You'll see me eat it. We finished our vegan curry. I didn't quite finish all of it. Just because like the texture of the actual like fake chicken stuff was a little bit spongy and I'm quite fussy with my textures but actually overall it was pretty nice and like it filled me up and I would eat it again. James who's just asleep here, <laughs> he's not actually asleep, <laughs> he just saw his phone, hey. He really liked it, what did you think of the vegan curry? Yeah, yeah I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I'm about to try my vegan cupcakes. These are just the Asda own brand vegan chocolate cupcakes and yeah, they actually look really nice. So I'm just eating this little vegan marshmallow that's on top. It's actually quite nice. Mmm, <laughs> this is really good. Mmm, the buttercream is actually so nice. I would never even know it's vegan. 10 out of 10. And that was the end of that so i think that ends this video here um it's been very interesting being vegan for 24 hours and honestly it was a lot easier than i thought it would be the cakes and like all of the like kind of junk food stuff was all amazing but then it was more just kind of like the meat substitute stuff that was a bit different but obviously it's going to be different but then it was still like fully edible um so yeah i really enjoyed actually trying this out and i actually liked a lot more things than i thought i would if you guys were inspired by this video give it a thumbs up hopefully you found it useful uh let me know down below what your favorite vegan foods are and i will see you in my next video bye